Hey everyone, so I am going to bring you along with me today. We are going to try to finish off our gather space with the furniture. So um, we started right before COVID hit. We were starting to get our furniture in and we had just moved into our new space. And then, of course, due to COVID, everything kind of came to a halt. So we ordered more furniture pieces um, as far as tables to get set up. So Donovan and I are going to be going up to the gather space today to assemble those tables and also um, just make sure we get the space tidied up. We do have, we, we completed the space maybe about uh, 75 to 80 percent of the way. So when I get there, I'll show you what it's currently looking like. But yeah, we're going to just try to expand our table space because we're getting a lot more students inside um, of the Bible classes. We, we definitely have people participating virtually, but we're having more people show up in person, which is awesome. So we definitely want to make sure we are providing enough um, space for everyone to sit at the tables and take notes and things of that nature. So I'll bring you along with me. <laughs> I had two more and then there's another one I gotta go pick up. Okay. This is the space right now what we have completed this is our learning area so we're going to be adding three more tables and expanding this area so I'll definitely show you what that looks like once we're done but we're still getting everything together we'll be starting to film our gather talks here so this is the setup we still have to complete that but yeah, this is kind of where we are right now. So that is what the space is looking like right now. I will come back and show you what everything looks like after we assemble the tables and expand the learning space area. So let's get to it. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Okay, so we just completed setting up two tables. We have a third table to set up. Donovan had to leave and make a run. He's coming back. So while he's gone, I'm going to start staining the two tables that are already completed. And then when Donovan gets back, we'll set up the third table. Then I can stain that. And then I will get a shot at what it looks like with the additional table set up in our learning area. So... Let's get these tables stained. So I do have um, rags here. I do have a brush too that I can use for the staining. We're using a black finish stain to match the other two tables that we already have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some gloves on and get to staining. Okay, so the semi-transparent stain that I had was a fail. So while Donovan is still out, he's gonna go pick up a different type of stain for the wood. So what I am going to do is move ahead and start putting together the third table. And when he gets back, we'll start staining.
have a different stain. I was trying to do the staining of the tables with a semi-permanent or semi-transparent. Now we have a solid color stain and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to stain the tables black and see what happens this time. You try to just dip it or just start smearing it. Oops, maybe I should do it that way. Yeah, just start smearing it. <laughs> Okay, so we just completed staining the tables and we're gonna just let them dry overnight. I'll give a quick shot of what it looks like, but um, once we put the first one together, which took a while to figure out, it was pretty easy to put the other ones together. And again, we're just gonna see what the stain looks like when we come back tomorrow. But as of that, I'll give a quick shot of what it's looking like. We don't have the tables fully pushed together with the chairs yet. So I can try to film or take a picture of the finished look of what the tables will look like and add that to this video. But here's what it looks like thus far. So as you can see from what it looked like before when I first came in, our table space is massive now. So everyone will have a lot of room to spread out and um, we can have our learning. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. We are now leaving Gather. This is everybody, that's Miko, that's Rhodesia and Andrew, that's Donovan, that's it's Leah and it's me. And behind us is Trey. So we're all leaving, but me, Leah and Trey and Jeremiah are gonna have an anime watch party and we're gonna eat ramen and watch anime. So. Stay tuned and we're going to get Ryan to. They better not be like, yellow. Yeah, okay, come in. Stay at least six feet. Okay, All right. That's his menu. <laughs> they went up on their prices. They childish. <laughs> they said it's good. Come on. Are you using the order? Yes. All right. Okay. Fancy with the little sushi at the bottom? <laughs> okay, what's the regular? Uh, give us one second. Regular pork. So this is the one that I usually get. Okay, let's see. That's what's in it. And then you can choose how thick you want your broth and how spicy you want. Okay. All you right. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, am I on it? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you your order? Um, mine is for Leah. Oh, mm -hmm. I Okay, I know what I want. Okay, okay what would you like? Um, can I do the tonkatsu ramen um, with medium? Mm -hmm. I do want spice. Okay. Um, the stuff down here on the side, is that stuff that I can add, like down here? Yeah. But it's a dollar per thing you want to add? Yeah. Got you. Yeah. We are on episode. What episode are we on? Uh, Forty something. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 Hello. <laughs> Woo, I didn't yeah. That man. Yeah. Turn around. Let me see ice cream. Huh? Let me see ice cream. Oh. It's strawberry. It's strawberry. Oh. We're on 48. The goal is 50 for me. Oh, personally. period. We're going to be there. Okay. Why is this man? Hey, you guys. So, Donovan and I are up this Sunday morning. We're headed to the Gather Space. Um, we're getting ready for our discipleship training um, in our building, which is really, really exciting. Um, last time you guys saw, which is probably a while ago, and you guys can refer back to the other um, videos, but we got our space together. We got furniture. Um, it's super cute. We got some accents of blue in there. It's just adorable. So we have a comfortable area that we um, 
meet at and it's just such a blessing that the Lord has blessed us to just be able to furnish the place decorate the place shout out to myself and Nina for the decorations um, and then shout out to the teachers for Donovan and Tremiko for getting the tables together and staining the tables which is pretty nice as well so we'll see you guys in a second so you guys we've made it to the space and we're getting out the car now just grabbing everything i'm like a bag lady i don't know why i'm looking over there i'm like a bag lady i literally carry a lot of bags and i try not to but this time i just have um nico's birthday gift the speaker or the what is this the voice recorder and my journal so I'm trying to like get everything out. <laughs> My face is all on the camera, y'all, sorry. Anyways. So, Donovan mask up, I should definitely have one on as well. But I'm trying to talk to y'all and y'all won't be able to hear me because I already have to speak like super loud as it is, so yeah the door now. I hope y'all like this space. Super, super nice. So we're located on the third floor and if you check out our website you will have our address if you ever want to check us out we do monday bible studies as well at the same location in our space so if you ever want to join us you're more than welcome to or virtually we do offer that on um facebook as well we got the whole nine yard as y'all can see <laughs> Yeah, it's a shared building, so that's why I have a mask on since they've mandated that we wear masks throughout the building in common areas. But yeah. once we get into our space, this is gonna come off. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was trying to talk to y'all, and you wouldn't have been able to hear me if I didn't have it on, so um, that's why I didn't put it on. But Donovan is just being a good, um, a good what listener. He's listening to the rules and following the directions, whereas I'm not. So here is our hallway, which is pretty cool. And um, I, we did see Tremigo's car, so she's already inside, um, inside already. So we'll see her. And here is our little. Sign. sign right here so let's see and oops say hey <laughs> so we've made it into the space um let me sit my things down i'm gonna give you guys a tour of the space um and all of that good stuff so when you first walk into your right here we have our gather talks area, which if you guys, um, you guys will see our new post coming soon, um, where we changed our location up for gather talks. Um, if it's not posted, it'll be posted soon. So we purchased, me and Nina purchased majority of everything from either Home Goods, um, Wayfair, and Amazon. So we have the satin pillows, we got the art, we got our Bibles, of course, our plants, and then this is what we use our ring light for our filming. Here we go and dive in. Um, and this is right here where we do our teaching. They're getting prepared. As we told you, we were headed to um, discipleship training this morning. So they're getting ready for that. We like legit. So remember I mentioned the tables and shout out the teachers right there. They moved the tables and did the staining and all of that, which came out really, really good. 
And then the lovely sign that you see behind them, Chimiko put that up. None of us would have been able to get it that straight. Oh, diamond, oh, really? No shine. I gave you shine with the tables. I didn't know that, my bad. So the husband also helped as well. So we had to restate this. So you will see earlier in this video that Jonathan and I stained the table. Ooh, y'all, I'm late. Okay, we go ahead and right. let Charika no, take. <laughs> so as you'll see earlier in this video, Donovan and I stained the tables. We put the tables together, but we didn't sand them. And so the stain did not adhere to the tables like it should have. So we were told that we should have sanded the tables, then stained them, and then sealed them. So we sanded everything off and then um, we restained them, Nina and I, and then we put sealant on it. So it looks way better and the stain is adhering and not chipping any color. Yes, and here you see the tables. Okay, my bad. Shout out to my husband, there he go. <laughs> All righty, then we got our station. This is what we use um, the TV, our screen for um, putting up scriptures. And whenever Chimiko does her PowerPoints, we have them scream. So that way, if you look towards this area, the students can all really engage in and see because we are an institution. So we have it set up like that as well. So right here, we have the learning area. And over here, we have our gather talks area. So back to the dividers. Over in this area, we have our food. You know, we have to have our snacks, not only for the core team, but the students too. Everybody likes to eat. So we have our um, everything organized. And I know for sure, shout out to Tremiko for the baskets and organizing everything. The cabinet, we definitely got this off of um, Amazon or Wayfair. It was one of the two. Um, but everything just looks so neat. Our fridge, we have our um, chips and all of that. Then over here, you see another couch and another ta uh, chair. So we're gonna turn this little area into more so like our counseling area if anyone needs like one-on-one -on -one prayer or anything like that. Um, so that way it's excluded. Um, it's away from the gather talks area and it's also away from the teaching area. This is our space. The letters have been very faithful to us. Um, the plugs that you see are just our heaters, just in case you were wondering, just our heaters to make sure it is um, nice and toasty in here for the students. And Tremiko already got the scriptures up um, and all that. Ooh, the verse of the day is up. There we go. Let y'all look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed our tour of our space. Like I said, the Lord has been very faithful to us and um, helping us to provide us with this space and also to be able to get everything that we need from the signs that are outside the door to all of the equipment and everything. So we're just being faithful to him and he is being faithful to us in return. So um, you guys are always welcome and we'll have our information in the back. So say bye, you guys. Bye. That is what I was saying. So I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. No. So if I'm a spiritual leader, I'll scratch it. If I'm a disciple of Christ as a saint, I know his word and I have the Holy Spirit, which will convict me. So even if I'm in a situation where I am tempted, and I make a mistake, so I'm not cavalier, like I'm just about to be out here bold, but I slip up in temptation, it is still premeditated because I know his word. I know it's wrong. Yeah, so the part of not every leader falling is cavalier or intentional. There's an issue, I got an issue with that. Because again, as a spiritual leader, you're held to a higher standard. We are charged, every believer is charged, to wear your arm. Every day I get up, I'm dressed because I know Satan comes in some kind of way. I need to keep my guard up because the enemy is constantly trying to get me to fall. So, and not just our armor, but our spiritual discernment because it says give no room for Satan. So that's telling, scripture is telling me, I need, need to be cognizant of every environment, every introduction, every person, yep. having my armor and the sense to question 
Why and who? The transgression is to premeditate. You can't just slip. And th th see, that's what we, that's the excuse we make up to make ourselves, I slipped into it. No, you full well knew that when you cheated on your spouse, and you pulled your pants down and opened up them legs, I'm gonna be real explicit here. That wasn't a mistake. And even, you planned that, you even premeditated that. For single spiritual leaders. You know, going over that person's house that you are physically attracted to, you're pre you yes. already entertaining it. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that sin no longer has dominion over us. So what he showed me is that there's a lot of people in this world that don't believe that, but even in the fact of not believing that, they're convinced that mm -hmm. you can't go in this mm -hmm. life and not be succumbed to see it. What we're saying is exactly what you don't boo hoo pat me on the back. You're only human. We all make mistakes. Thanks. No, hold me to the same standard that Christ holds spiritually. So a lot of people are going to have a rude awakening when they stand before the Lord, and they're gonna think he's gonna be like, oh, I know it was hard, and I know you have. <laughs> Literally. Any questions or comments?